Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I have a new type of video for you guys, and that is fire systems in action. On my channel, you see a lot of different content related to fire and life safety, such as demos and things like that regarding fire safety equipment, but you never really get to see that stuff in action, which is probably a good thing, but in today's video, I have a compilation of a bunch of clips I have of fire and life safety equipment actually performing and saving lives in real emergencies. Of course, we all know what fire safety systems do, we know what a fire alarm does, and we know what fire extinguishers do, but it's also really important to analyze how people act in an emergency. By understanding what people are actually going to do in an emergency, we can better design things to be easier to use, and also we can understand why certain things are important. So let's go ahead and get started. This first clip came from Youngstown, Ohio. So what happened here was crews were working in the basement cutting gas lines, and the crews cut into a gas line that they thought was off but was actually still active. Once they realized that this gas line was active and now leaking, they immediately pulled the fire alarm and began the building evacuation. Once the fire alarm sounds, you can see several people leave the building, and a few minutes after that, a massive explosion rips through the floor. You can see here why the fire alarm system did a really good job of alerting people before the explosion. Had these people stayed where they were, there probably would have been a lot more damage. Uh, as you can see, the explosion was pretty bad. The first of four video clips is at 2.41 on Tuesday afternoon, three minutes before the explosion in the Realty Building. With the fire alarm blaring, Asia Simmons and her 10-month-old son Amir take the steps to the back of the building. Like, I don't really see anybody evacuating. I don't really smell any smoke. I don't see any fire. So I was kind of like, well, maybe this is like a false alarm. At 2.42, one minute after Asia leaves, Deanna Rossi's son, Vito Colella, exits through a different flight of stairs. So you can see the fire alarm sounding. You can actually see that she said that she was kind of hesitant to leave the building because there's no signs of smoke or fire, but it's a good thing that she made the right decision to. This is actually a pretty big problem in a lot of cases. A lot of apartment buildings have a lot of nuisance fire alarms, and after a lot of false alarms, people just don't leave anymore, but it's a good thing that in this case, she decided to exit the building. This next clip here is from an apartment building fire, so as you can see, there is a small fire in the wall. This is an internal structure fire, which is always a pretty big deal because you never actually know how bad the fire is. All you see on the outside is some smoke and a little bit of fire, but inside of the wall cavity, if there's no fire blocking, it could be really, really bad. So this security officer arrives on scene. The first thing he does is go to the fire extinguisher cabinet, break the panel on the front here, as you can see, and get the extinguisher, which is a Kitta 5-pound extinguisher. He then starts using the extinguisher, which, as you can see, isn't all that effective, um, probably because the fire is inside of the wall. It's also possible that the extinguisher was refilled with some powder that was not pure, um, which leads to the powder not being effective. But either way, this extinguisher runs out, so he goes to get another extinguisher. He breaks this cabinet and grabs this five-pound buckeye, starts spraying the fire again. Um, once the fire department arrives, he begins to just evacuate the building. So you can see he lifts this pole station and he pulls it down, which this is a EST uh, pole station with integrity horn strobes, um, just a normal conventional system. So that's this video right here. So the alarm continues sounding. The security guy actually has to go knock on everyone's doors to get them to evacuate because this actually exemplifies the point I was making last video. When there's a lot of false alarms, people have a tendency to just not evacuate anymore. So they actually have to knock on the doors to get people to leave. This is actually a pretty dangerous habit though because in this case, there is a real fire and there's a real threat to people's safety, but they're staying in the building until someone actually tells them to leave, which is not great, but at least everyone was safe. 
This next clip here shows a fire sprinkler system activating. So right here, you can see some sort of fire happening in the basement of a building. Um, some sort of flammable item is dripping out of the ceiling and it is on fire. My guess would be some sort of light fixture is burning um, and the plastic on the light fixture is just dripping down to the floor. Either way, this is a very small fire at first, but slowly over the course of time, um, it just starts to build. Um, eventually, there's just a lot of smoke. As you can see at this point, it is starting to get past the incipient stage. Um, a lot more smoke is being produced, but still the fire is not hot enough to trigger the sprinkler system, um, which is activated by heat and not smoke. At this point, if the building had a fire alarm system, it definitely would have activated. However, this building does not appear to have a fire alarm system. Eventually, right as the fire starts to spread to some nearby items, boom, the fire sprinkler activates and almost instantaneously the fire is put out. This goes to show that a fire sprinkler system does stop a small fire from becoming a disaster. Fire sprinklers are really kind of a foolproof way to stop fires because they're basically just, think of them as valves at the ceiling that automatically turn on when there's heat. Um, as soon as a fire gets hot enough to start damaging a structure, the water will just come shooting out which will put out a fire or stop it from spreading. Well, that's it for today, folks. I hope you learned something about how life safety equipment actually functions in the real world. If you like this series, let me know and I'll make more videos similar to this. Um, but at the end of the day, I hope you leave this video learning a little more about how fire systems actually work in the real world. Other than that, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.